a newly revealed secret that will bring down Mueller's Russia investigation. Robert Mueller's Russia witch hunt has not been going well for the Democrats. Despite the mainstream media covering it constantly, the American people aren't buying it. And a newly revealed secret is going to bring the entire investigation down for good. The media is trying to paint Mueller's Russia investigation as everything but politically motivated. But as time goes by, it is becoming harder and harder to convince people of that. Just this month already, the former FBI agent who interviewed Michael Flynn was removed from the investigation because of anti-Trump text messages. And now, another member of the investigation has been exposed with having very deep ties to the Democrat Party, and Hillary Clinton. Adam Zebley previously served as Mueller's chief of staff, and was often referred to as Mueller's right-hand man. He was heavily involved in the Russia investigation for quite a while. Zebley, a lawyer, also represented Justin Cooper in 2015, who was the IT staffer that set up Hillary Clinton's unsecured private email server. Cooper was also the aide who destroyed Hillary's old BlackBerry cell phones with a hammer. It becomes hard to argue that someone is unbiased when they represented the person who caused perhaps the largest scandal of the 2016 election. As reported by PJ Media, yet another key member of special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia probe appears to have deep ties to the Democratic Party. Aaron Zebley served previously as Mueller's chief of staff at the FBI and as a senior counselor in the National Security Division at the Department of Justice. He also served as an assistant U.S. attorney in the National Security and Terrorism Unit in Alexandria, Virginia. He is often referred to in the media as Mueller's right-hand man. Also, in 2015 when he was a lawyer, he represented Justin Cooper, the IT staffer who personally set up Hillary Clinton's unsecured server in her Chappaqua home, Fox News' Tucker Carlson revealed on his show Thursday. Cooper, IT so happens, is also the aide who destroyed Clinton's old blackberries with a hammer. Documents obtained by Fox News show that Senate investigators grew frustrated with Zebley after being repeatedly stonewalled when they were trying to set up a meeting with Cooper. Mr. Zebley telephoned Homeland Security Committee staff to inform them that Cooper had chosen to cancel the interview, the documents said. In a letter to Cooper, congressional investigators complained, we are troubled by your attorneys referring to Zebley complete refusal to engage the committee in a discussion about how to further assuage your concerns. So Zebley, who was Mueller's right-hand man, was also the representative for the person who Hillary trusted to set up her dangerous email server. This information is coming out at a time where people are losing any trust for the investigation, and are calling for the firing of Mueller. The strong anti-Trump members of his investigation coming to light are only going to continue to make it harder for the media to paint this investigation as nonpartisan. Do you think Robert Mueller should be fired?